Uh, we're here at the American Legion Foreign Affairs Conference in Washington, D.C. I am Bob Calvert, your host on www.talkingwithheroes.com, our online news site, thankyouforyourservice.us. Uh, we're going to be interviewing a whole bunch of American Legion veterans here. Okay, we now have an Iraq veteran here. Uh, if you can introduce yourself, talk about your service to our country, and share a little bit of stories you've been telling me about your elder son, your wife. And yes, sir. My name is Ildefonso Colon, Jr. I am a retired First Sergeant United States Marine Corps. I served 25 years in, in the Marine Corps. My wife is also a retired First Sergeant. My son was in the Marine Corps for eight years and, uh, and then transferred into the Army. But uh, just to let you know a little story, uh, during the invasion, my wife and my son were both in the invasion, and my unit was still deployed to Japan. And uh, we left four children at home. At the time, uh, um, the, the eldest was 20, and the youngest was 15. And they chose, uh, which was one of our plans, to, to do it on their own instead of going to the grandparents. And I got to say is that one of the sacrifices that, that dual active duty members make every day uh, are these things that I'm just talking about right now and uh, it's, it's nice to let the people know that this is what we do for our country and we would do it all over again if we had to. And you were wounded in Fallujah you were telling me, talk about that. Yes, uh, I, I, was, I was wounded in Operation Al-Fajar which officially, uh, originally was uh, Operation Phantom Fury but was changed to Operation Al-Fajar. I was the, um, actually the first person in my company, the first sergeant, to get wounded and um, uh, about 18 days later, I was I was sent uh, to to Germany to to Longstuhl, which is another great success story that we have over there. Um, those men and women that take care of our injured, they actually make it to Longstuhl, are the greatest people on earth. And that I want everybody to know about too. Those people, those soldiers that take care of our wounded, they're the greatest. Um, and here I am today. I, I dedicated my life to, to helping out veterans, and I'm going to continue to do so because I see the need and. Um, our veterans need to know that, uh, not our veterans, our active duty members need to know that the veterans support everything that they do every day. Only, not only because we were there, because we know the hardships that they go through. So did you become a member of American Legion um, after you got back? And talk about why you decided, and now you're even more than a member, you're actually actively involved now. Right. Um, I, I became a member uh, shortly after I retired from the Marine Corps. And again, I've dedicated my life to this to this. Uh, to this cause because um, it's a one percent that serves the nation and, and our commander says it every day when, when he defends us one percent of our youngsters our men and women are out there defending this great nation and everybody needs to know that that one percent does a great job every day and that they're in harm's way no matter where they're at it, it's, it's a lot to say, but it, it, it's true. Our, our young men and women do a great job every day. How many young men and women do you know, 19 years old, drive million-dollar vehicles, and when, they got, and when they come home, they can't even land a job? Yeah. Which, we have, which you're working to change. That's right. A lot of people around the country That's are right. working to change, and we have to change that. That's right, and, and, and we're going to change it. And uh, with the American Legion and other organizations, we're going to make sure that our veterans come home to a job and that... Uh, Nobody messes with their retirement, nobody messes with their education, and that they need to know also that we're standing here while they're fighting for us out there, we're fighting for them at home, for their benefits, for everything that they do for us every day. So you served for over 20 years, now you're still serving, just in a different capacity. That's right, and, and, and we in the American Legion like to say that we're still serving, and we continue to serve. And, and I encourage all active duty members, when their time is up, look us up. The American Legion continues to serve every day. And, and we're going to continue to do that forever. Thank you. Why don't you get, look at the camera and give a shout out to the troops. Okay. Hey, all you Marines, sailors, soldiers, airmen out there, I, I just want to tell you, been there, done that, have the t-shirt, but I support everything that you do every day and I pray for you every day. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you for your service to our country. Thank you. To your son and your wife. Thank you, sir. And probably your whole family, right? Well, actually, my son is right now at, uh, stationed at, with the 25th Infantry in Schofield Barracks. Okay. His unit is going to deploy again this summer. And my old unit, the uh, 3rd Light Armored Reconnaissance in, in 29 Palms, is also going to deploy sometime this, this summer. And uh, just so happens that my former company commander is now the battalion commander, and he's taking the boys out again on another deployment. But this time to Afghanistan. Great. Thank you. Oh yeah, you were. Yes. And uh, para todos mis uh, los soldados de Puerto Rico, le quiero dar, dejarles saber que nosotros lo, los apoyamos en todo lo que hacen todos los días. Que la Legión Americana está aquí para apoyarlos ustedes, para que tengan un trabajo cuando cuando vuelvan a casa y que Dios los bendiga.
I'm Gene McVeigh from Fort Smith, Arkansas. I'm a retired fighter pilot. I served from really 1961 until 1996. Had the privilege of commanding a provisional wing with uh, forces from the the Navy, the Marine Corps, the Air Force, uh, the Canadian Air Force, and a few Army troops. I would just like to say to uh, those serving today that you have a lot of support here, particularly in the American Legion where I'm an alternate national executive committee man. Uh, we're fighting every day for you. Uh, tomorrow I'll be visiting with uh, my congressional de delegation, including our senators and our congressmen, and we're going to be uh, fighting for your track here, for your your retirement benefits, and we understand that this is not just another job. Uh, you're putting your life on, on the line, you're away from your family, and there are so many sacrifices that uh, some people don't understand, but we understand, and we're behind you 100%. Thank you for your service. Thank you very much. Thank you for your service to our country. Thank you. And you continue serving, which is great. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. Hey, great afternoon to everyone who will be looking into this. I'm Bill Clancy. I'm from the Bronx, New York. I served 1961 till 1963. I was a draftee. Somehow or other, I ended up as an airborne engineer, I had a life-changing experience, and I've never been the same since. Uh, what was that life-changing experience? Well, it was a vision I saw of our place as Americans in the world. We, we were well-known, and we always did good. I served in France at the time of the building of the Berlin Wall and we just weren't waiting for Russians we were in the process of a, a a massive sewer job in the whole southwest of France it was an incredible job wow. and uh, we were just there the army guns I was getting $99 a month and you also got jump pay which was $55 which was a lot of money in those years and but anyway, we're here today to do this shout out. And I want the folks over there to know all the great guys and gals who are over there. You're not alone. You're with people who love you, who respect what you're doing, and you might not be popular in the media, but you're popular with the American people. All the American legions have been sending over packages. It was a part of our budget at one time on account of the high mailing costs. We also had to fill out forms in the post office which were customs forms where we could not send anything which might be objectionable to the country you were saving. It was really incredible. We persevered, you persevered, we're waiting to catch you to come back. And the American Legion is working on legislation. We want more jobs. We want more energy policy. And we're going to give them hell. Great. Thank you so much. So thank you for your service to our country and for what you continue to do now. And Bob, I'd like to thank you. And Mark, it's a marvelous job. It should have been done years ago. You started in 06, you said? I started in 06. And if you remember, the war started in 03. Yep. And so... You're doing a marvelous service. Well, if my daughter had not surprised me by going in the Army, I probably never would have started this. So. You said that, and that's really <laughs> incredible. Yeah. Thank you very much. Great. Good. My pleasure. Okay, guys, if you can uh, introduce yourself, talk about uh, when you served, how long. Hi, my name is James Holland. I'm from South Carolina. I'm a past department commander with the American Legion. I served in Vietnam, and I'm an Army retiree. It's a great thing that you guys are doing representing the country. I'd like you to know that I'm personally with you, and so is the American Legion and millions of other people in South Carolina and back at home. So, you know, do the best you can. Remember for God and country, and uh, come home safely. Thank you for your service. Thank you. Thank you for continuing to serve. Too. Thank you.
I'm Larry Pounce. I served in the United States Marine Corps for three and a half years. I'm past zone commander of the Department of South Carolina. I'd like to send a shout out to all the troops. I appreciate you for the hard work you're doing. And for God's sake, keep safe. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you for your okay. service to our country. Okay. God bless you. Okay. Uh, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself now, uh, to start out talking about your service to our country. I'm Brenda Dearborn and I served in the United States Air Force from 1973 to 1992. I was a law enforcement specialist and I uh, served in Vietnam. I went over and brought troops, refugees out during Vietnam. So um, I'd like to, to thank the troops that are overseas and that are even here home. Thank you for what you do. Um, I'm the commander of the American Legion in the state of Maine and you need anything you let us know when you come back or if you need us before you come back let us know. Thank you so much for all that you do. You've had somebody in your family that has also served and yes. been deployed, right? Yes, I have two sons over. Um, Jason, I love you. Brian, thinking of you all the time. Thanks. They're both in Afghanistan? Um, one was. He's now back in the States, and my other son is, uh, I believe, in Guam right now, serving. Great. So thank you. Well, thank you very much for your service, and you continue serving, and we appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bless you. Thank you.